Hi, and welcome to Ask CVWD. My name is Jason Lucas. I'm a water management specialist for the Coachella Valley Water District, and I'm here on an important mission. This customer has had an unusually high water bill for the last couple of months. Nothing's going on on the outside, so that leads me to believe that something's going on in the inside. Let's go check it out. First thing we want to do is shut off all the water in the house, make sure nothing's running that we know of. Then we want to come out to the meter. Yep, looks like there's definitely a leak here. How do I know? The low flow indicator on the meter is moving, and that lets us know that water running somewhere. Next, we'll isolate the irrigation valve, then the house valve. And once we isolate those, we can determine where that water is coming from, either the inside or the outside. So let's go. So now that we identify that the leak is coming from inside the home by isolating the valves, now we have to turn the valves back on and come back inside to check for any leaks. Now, seeing that these leaks are not going to be showing themselves out in the open, they're probably going to be behind the appliance or underneath the sink. So everything looks okay in the kitchen. So next we're going to go into the laundry room and check it for any leaks in there. What we want to look for is the supply lines behind the washer. If those are wet, probably a leak in there. And if there's a sink in there, we want to check that sink too. Everything looked good in the laundry room. Let's check the water heater. When checking the water heater, you want to look at the supply lines. Depending on what type of water heater you have, they may be on the top or on the bottom. Make sure they're dry and not wet. I don't see any issues here. Let's go look at the bathrooms. So what we want to look for is at the sinks, the faucets, the shower heads, and the toilet. And if there's a bath, check that too. We don't see any issues here. Let's go check the other bathroom. We'll check the same things in the guest bath that we did in the master bath. And already I can hear something sound funny. You hear that hissing sound? That tells me that there's water running in the toilet and it looks like we found our leak. To temporarily stop the water and identify if that's the actual leak, we wanna shut off the water at the toilet valve. Then go check the meter and see if that low flow indicator is moving. If not, then we found our leak. After checking the meter, I can see that the low flow indicator stopped moving, which means that the leak was in the guest bathroom with a running toilet, and that was the culprit. Don't forget to watch our other videos in our Ask CVWD series, like how to read your meter, or check for outside leaks, and more. For answers to water usage related questions, call CVWD at 760-398-2651, or visit us at CVWD.org. Your water is our promise.